In this video, we're going to show you how to fix when DocuSign cannot connect to your NRDS ID because of the name issue. So just to recap, how do you even get into DocuSign from command? You create an opportunity, which I've done. You go to documents and you would start a transaction with DocuSign and that will take you to what they call a room in DocuSign. Now, usually you won't get that error message about not being able to connect until you go to add a document from DocuSign and you would get a little pop up here that says NRDS ID and looking it up and making it match. In the event it doesn't work because maybe you have a hyphenation, you might have LLC or PA in your name and that will prevent it from going forward. So in case you don't know what your NRDS ID is, I always look it up. Uh, they have a tool here in the National Association to look it up. So I would make sure your name matches whatever they have on file for this to link together. So just use the tool that they give you a link to on how do I look this up and how do I find my username. So here I can find my username by my email address if I don't remember it or make sure the mat name matches. And then I'm going to come here and I'm not going to actually do it inside of the rooms of DocuSign. So in order to fix your name for that to work, you're going to want to click on the, your name in the upper hand corner and you're going to switch to eSignature. You need to go into the DocuSign portion of the system and you have full control to edit your name. So if you come here to where it says my DocuSign ID and click edit, it's going to give you an option to show you your name. This is where you're going to see if it has like LLC, PA, maybe I have a couple different names at the end and they don't match what the National Association has on file. I would come here to edit my name and fix that. So this should match exactly how the board has your name down and what the National Association sees. So just verify on their website first which name is it going to show up as. Once you've got your name changed, you would say change name and that would be updated here. You would come back to the top and switch back to rooms. Um, one of the easiest ways, honestly, to get back to where you were is just close these tabs, come back to command and documents. And if you go to transaction, it takes you directly to the room. And this time when you come to add from DocuSign, you can put in your NRDS ID and it should actually go through. So that's how you get it to link. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KB Connect or YouTube today.